Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Vail and we're back with another one. And this one, we're gonna be checking out Zayn and Shark actually talking about what happened in that epic 3v5 um, Lord fight against um, S2G. So yeah, let's jump into it. Let's see what they got to say about that game. Even though it's already, we've already seen their, their latest game and they actually made, they're making, they're making some history for NA. They're doing some great things for NA right now. So yeah, shout out to BTK. But yeah, let's see what they had to say about this one because I didn't get to um, check that out yesterday. So yeah, that being said, let's jump into it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, let's get it. But there was no communication. I'm he like, you found it. a play, did it. Mmm, no communication. It's crazy. So in that game, we saw two critical Lord fights. The first one, Shark, you had an instinct engage with Zane's red sheet. What was the communication in game? I just do it. I called my team when I jump someone, just follow me, free win. And then how did you feel about that engage from Shark? It was really nice. Yeah, I that Lord fight, I don't know if we would have won it without Shark doing that. But there was no communication. He found he, like, he found it. a play, did it, and we all followed up on it. Yep. To Shark, SCG, this might be the green light to go and burst down the first Lord. As, as BTK is trying to just survey the scene, they're, they're trying to decide whether to go for the contest, but the problem is Kazue against Moba Zane. Yeah. Isui has a major advantage when it comes to those 50-50 retributions. Oh. Lodar goes in once again. Real World Manipulation will be casted by Hoon. S2G Esports will back oh. away so far, but will still oh. continue oh. for the Lord, but Shark will get a beautiful spatial migration combination to set the Moba crazy. Zane for the Lord's sake, and S2G will have to retreat. And that's what I was saying, man. BTK, they can take it slow and steady and at some point the game is going to build up in their favor you know you're under the 11 minute mark but a great show of patience really that's what it was from btk they were patient enough to go ahead that's crazy that they didn't have to communicate and they made that play exactly like that they did that play um just by instinct and i like that it actually takes the game back it makes it feel like you're kind of at home when you're just doing stuff like that you're not trying too hard not calling out every single little thing. It's just you all are playing your game. You all play together every day, all day. Like, y'all have this chemistry. It's like an unspoken chemistry. So it's not, it's kind of like they just do their own thing and they play like they're playing at home. If you can keep that mentality and that works for you, that could actually be a strong strategy to compete with. Not listening to a coach and all this. Like, it's interesting. And, and get through it. And the last Lord fight that really won the game, it was three versus five. What happened there? How did you get that Lord and, and push with just three people? One member down for BTK at the most crucial time is five seconds. The Lord, the second Lord will respawn. And S2G, they have a decision. Will they go for the Lord push? Will they go for the Lord burst? Or will they take down bodies from Whoa. BTK? They're trying to Whoa. poke down Hoon. Here comes the oh. Eagle, but who manages to flicker up? But look at Siggy Boom. The night, Turkish bro. Trigger Man with the Renner takes down Hoon. Now Mobazane trying to soak up every single damage. Zia, though, quite alive still. But five members of SDG are surrounding this second Lord. Will BTK pull off another miracle and steal away this Lord? They're going to go for it. It's the court of the health. Okay, here comes Circling Eagle once again. It's going to be Whoa! my in battle. Nice. Zia gets a kill. Zane gets the Lord. And BTK, green light on the attack. Infernal pursuit from Fight Chicken, but he's going to fall down as well. Moba Zane and Zia. Oh, Shark. We'll get another one. It's Shark. Yeah, their positioning was insane, and then Shark is playing crazy. Like, he's every time I look up, he's diving somebody, and it's crazy. Manages to find Siggy Boom. A double kill for Zia. Off the headshot from Siggy Boom earlier, and they come back with a vengeance. They are bloodthirsty at this point as they march down the mid lane. Lord in tow. Because we all alone, ready for the rest of the team. The turret's going to be worked on. Can he do it? And another pickle another coming in from again. Shark. Kazuo is going to fall down, and BTK will now become the Turkish Slayers. <laughs> Uh, some of the team didn't want to do it, especially after Sh Shark died, and then I think maybe Hoon died. So some of the team didn't want to do it, but it, I'm a Fredrin, so I stayed <laughs> around, waited for an opportunity. Luckily, we were able to find the Suyu and got the Lord, so. And we noticed you lost your voice a little bit. Were you yelling? I was. I was. Of happiness? <laughs> <laughs> Mixed emotions. <And> then, <laughs> so he was cursing his team out, basically. <laughs> look at him, look at you, like you can tell, you can tell. I mean, look, look at look at Shark face. You can tell he he was get they was he was cursing people out. Of happiness. 
He said, yeah, happy. <laughs> Mixed emotions. And then the last thing, we saw you uh, kind of go up to S2G in the end and kind of um, did a little like taunting. What, what, what did you do there? What did you say? I forgot, to be honest. All right. You can see that patience <laughs> played a part here in their second game throughout the Swiss stage, bringing them to that 2-0. What a victory for them. And yes, oh. you can see the hype. You Whoa. can see how good he's feeling. He's, hey, that's, that's the, the, the Turkey Slayers, man. I just told you, first game hyped. What an amazing match. You can feel the emotions coming in from BTK. They want to prove something, and they have proven it. Mm. Uh, upping up their standings to 2-0. This is looking good for the whole region of NACT. I mean, they are coming through showing people that North America is one of the strongest. They coming through showing it. And honestly, they shouldn't be that strong, bro. It's not It's not a crazy amount of competition out here. I mean, it's the same people over and over and over. But that just goes to show you, like, the people that's out here is pretty deadly. Like, you got to keep it 100. They, they deadly over here. But a lot of this the, does come from all the training over there, overseas and stuff like that. Like, I think that that really definitely sharpens the North American players. But it's, that, it's, different, it's some different breeds in North America, for real. But yeah, y'all, um, there we have it. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, fam. Um, let me know how y'all feeling about everything. And let me know what else you, you want me to check out in the comments below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.